Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am outside another Indian restaurant and this time I found this restaurant in North Fields, which is in between Hammersmith and Heathrow Airport. It has been a little bit of a trek for me to get here, but I'm quite excited to visit this place. I am, as you can see, outside Patri. Now, Patri, I have been told by the restaurant, uh, has a few meanings. Patri in Greek means father. Patri in uh, Hindi means kind of railway tracks. And in Turkish, I think it means fire. So a lot of grilled food. Now, this place specializes not in a specific kind of Indian food, but just good Indian food, North Indian food, a bit of South Indian food. But what they claim to do is they claim to have the biggest thali in the UK, which is why I am mainly here to try the biggest thali here. And I cannot wait any longer. Uh, so I'm going in to get some food. Hi, I'm Puneet, co-founder at Patri. Puneet, I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for letting me into your kitchen as well. I just want to talk to you about Patri. How old is this place? When did you start this? Patri started in 2017. We have one site in Hammersmith, okay. and uh, this is our second site in Northfield. Yeah. Uh, this opened in 2018. How would you describe the food here? Patri is soul food. It's Indian food based on journeys of travels in India. Okay. It's bringing street foods, curries, kebabs to the neighborhoods of London. Is that why you've called it Patri? Because that's the Patri is that uh, railway tracks in India. So Patri actually means father in Greek. Okay. Uh, it means furnace in Urdu. Ah. It means Patri in Hindi. the real uh, Hindi. So it's street food. Yeah. It, it's about getting soulfulness. It's about bringing those legacy dishes that people eat you know, on yeah. the streets. I'm quite excited to try your thali. I would love to hear from you what made you want to do these massive, big, beautiful thalis. Again, when we look back at our journey, Patri is about uh, my journey mm. with my wife, Preeti. Mm. So, Puneet means pure. Preeti means love. Yeah. So, when we designed the restaurant, it was all about pure products. It, and we invented the peas, passion, provenance, people. Okay. Wow. We had to bring that together. So we're surrounded with amazing chefs. We're blessed. Yeah. Uh, mentors have come across, you know, given us tips. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to bring that journey of flavors uh, from the north to the south, to the east, to the west. So yeah. we have such a diverse menu, so many home cooked recipes yeah. that the chefs bring in, <laughs> food that I've tasted. Uh, my own travels, you know, in London where I've discovered Indian food, I've discovered Pakistani food, Peruvian, I've discovered Bangladeshi food, Thai. So as we've developed, we developed these recipes and it's, it's about bringing provenance back, a deep dive into history and kind of my take on the food I eat. So what is the most popular dish in your restaurant? Most ordered will always be the boyfriend chart. People come really? in. It's, we're known for our street food, so. And uh, everyone needs a good boyfriend. Yeah. So, so boyfriend, uh, then we have alu tikki chaat, which is from that Delhi, you know, from my hometown. Um, so yeah, th those are kind of our signature dishes on the chaat side. Then we have signature grills, sikh yeah. kebabs, yeah. you know. Uh, but if there was one dish uh, which I ate throughout, you know, the patri journey is butter chicken. Ah. The recipe never changes. We're okay. blessed, you know, that this recipe was validated by the godfather of Indian cooking. It's never changed in... I'm hoping will never change it, yeah. you know, it's, it's what the peas are about. And what is your favorite dish on the menu? Your personal favorite, if you had to pick? It would be, again, taking me back to my childhood, yeah. is dal makhni. Again, it, for us, it's about soulfulness. So lots of ghee, lots of butter, things which actually saturated um, oils are great. The Patri journey is also about purpose. We found our purpose from corporate careers, both of us. Uh, for me, it's if you can put a good dal and roti on the table, yeah. I think life is grand. The rest is 
you know, as they say, our toys. And do you keep changing the thali ingredients every uh, few weeks or according to festivals or what is happening? It's about seasonality. Yeah. It's about mindfulness. Yeah. Um, so we're just coming off, you know, we're towards the end of the Ramadan period. Yeah. So again, when we head towards Eid, we will put that into the menu. We're yeah. just now at Easter. So we put some Easter specialities. We have some Goan specialities coming on the menu. Today we tasted some southern specialities because some of the chefs are from, uh, you know, from the south of India. And also, I want to ask you, how many people do you think can eat finish that thali? What is your estimate? I would probably say we would need about five, really. We are six of us yeah. and I don't think we've, we've managed to <laughs> no. eat, finish that. But... I think people eat with their eyes first and, yeah. uh, you know, there's, there's so much variety which is kind of a reflection of the subcontinent yeah. that flavors, palates vary and menus and recipes can change every three miles where we're blessed to yes. be and again it's back to provenance Arabs bought kebabs, you know Portuguese bought you know the spice trade into India yeah. you know we've, we've discovered so much from different people who you know have been to India across from the 1800s yeah. Yeah. and we want to pay homage to those you know, uh, kind of legacy of history and go back and deep dive into those cookbooks. We were a fan of, yeah. you know, learning from cookbooks yeah. and to see, well, what can we do? Absolutely. I'm very excited to, you know, be sitting and uh, having all this food. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So I'm just having the mango lassi. I had to have the mango lassi. Hmm. It's nice. Unfortunately, with all the mango lassis, you can really taste the tinned mangoes because it's not in season, but it's delicious. I am just having the Caribbean rum punch, which is their signature drink. <laughs> so I thought uh, I really should, really, really. Oh, that's strong. So this is the boyfriend chart, which is the papri with potato on top and some chutney. So, and this one is alu tikki chart with uh, chole at the bottom and then potato cakes and then some chutneys. Looks really good. That is the Punjabi samosa chart. The tikki chart is really tastes like I'm sitting in Delhi and eating it. The chole tastes very, very deli like which is incredible the tikki is lovely you know, so much flavor in those chickpeas delicious <laughs> samosa chat mm. again the samosa tastes like a proper punjabi samosa and the whole spice mix tastes very different to the chickpea uh, the tiki chart which is good because you don't want everything to taste the same so this is the girlfriend chart um, which is the match for the boyfriend chart that we've just had that's the earth harvest chart all the potatoes and like a deli chart Mm. Actually, I have had something similar in Delhi. I didn't know the name of it. I just thought it's alu chaat. It's packed with flavor. So he's just making some varieties of samosas. There is cheese and pineapple. There's chocolate. There is the proper Punjabi samosa. And this is a butter chicken filling. Thank you. 
so that's the preparation for the thali happening as you can see there's going to be plenty of dishes going on here um, so they are prepping them all the kebabs are on the fire the samosas are frying and the dishes are heating up it all is very exciting and i cannot wait for this thali experience so there's 26 katoris in the thali hand for size started so we have chef's lamb curry yeah uh, we have the pantry chicken secret green chicken curry chicken curry of dreams Kima. We have seafood moili. We have a lamb ishtu from the south of India. Then we have chicken chedinan. We have varutracha sambar. Then we have a selection of our grills. So murmalai tikka. Uh, we have sikh kebab. We have a tandoori broccoli, paneer tikka, masala chicken wings. Then we have a selection of samosas. So we have a Punjabi samosa, a butter chicken samosa. We have a pineapple and cheese samosa that we've done uh, for your visit. Chocolate and a chocolate. And we have a chocolate, Indian. Belgian chocolate calabat samosa. We have beetroot tikki. And then we have the veggie selection here. Okay. We have a hakka gobi. Mm -hmm. um, we have Carolyn moili. We have our signature dal makhni, paneer makhni, karma dal. Uh, we have masala pindi chana. And then we have pan, pani puri, and then we have the oh. South Indian kadala curry. No. And we've got the pani puri and some mango lassi. And that's the naan and garlic naan. And then there'll be Amritsari kulcha to follow. That is the most beautiful thali I have ever seen. Absolutely insane looking, stunning thali. I have to say, out of all the restaurants I've covered so far, this is the first pani puri I'm having in any restaurant, which is, mm, they, none of them had a pani puri. No, no, Darjeeling Express had pani puri. So it's lovely. Now, I can't actually tell you by tasting every single thing because I can't actually do that. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. So I'm just going to tell you a brief once I've eaten everything. That's the paneer culture. Yep, lovely. And that's the barbecued corn. And that's the fruit chart. Dig in, guys. Dig in. I don't know from where, but just go for it. So that is butter chicken biryani with some raita. So this is a pudding the kids are it's going in. Sick. It's a frozen dessert inspired by the oh. fruit cream, uh, which I remember very fondly from my childhood as well. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. That is chocolate samosa with mango puree, and that looks very exciting. very nice because it's, it's a plain pastry with chocolate inside what's not to like and a bit of mango puree mm. okay so i have finished i say i as in this is the first time i've come with a group of friends six of us and i have to say <laughs> we did not manage to finish that thali but don't you worry no food has been wasted we've got a bag to take home i just want to tell like brief you about the experience i think the thali was impressive what i liked was that he's tried to do a bit of north south east west of indian food in that one thali which has been incredible there were some dishes which were stand out I love the dhaba chicken, the secret chicken curry and the pani puri was amazing. The biryani was just delicious. The samosas, you know, it couldn't be any fresher because he rolled them in front of me, fried them and we were served it straight away. They were just like proper Punjabi samosas and many other dishes, the Kerala stew, um, the prawn curry, all the lamb dishes, the, the malai um, uh, chicken. It was all very, very nice and 
it's good to see someone doing something different because thali is a concept that not everyone understands here in the UK. So it, it's really exciting to see Pani trying to try and introduce people to this beautiful thali. And to have that size thali is just so impressive. The team is lovely. The food is incredible. So if you can uh, come and visit, then yeah, uh, definitely recommend it. And if you can't, then they are uh, available for takeaways as well, which apparently is quite, quite popular. So yeah, overall, I've had a great lunch and next you'll see me back from my kitchen cooking another delicious recipe till then bye don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon